octopus. Her name is Cousteau, after Jacques Cousteau. And so when I have a piece of food, she'll grab a hold of that piece of food and actually bring it down to the middle of her body, which is where her mouth is located. But one thing that oct octopuses have is on their suction cups, they have what is called chemotactus. So even though as I'm touching her, as so, what she can do is actually taste and smell my finger. And the giant Pacific octopus is actually the largest species of octopus, as well as the longest living. So you're looking at a lifespan around two to five years of age. You can actually feed our octopus here at the aquarium, uh, which you can't do at a lot of other different facilities. Um, but what you can do is you can purchase her food, which is either crab or shrimp or something similar that day. And uh, once you do that, you can gently place it right on her suction cup, such so. And what she'll do is she'll take that food item directly down to the center of her body, which is where her mouth is located. Now her mouth is not going to be like any other mouth that you might think of or imagine. It's actually going to be similar to a bird beak. Uh, so it is a beak and she actually has a radula that's very similar to what a snail or a slug would have uh, because they're all mollusks. They're related to each other. She's just very, very intelligent for an invertebrate. So an invertebrate, that means she has absolutely no skeletal system. Uh, um, so she can squeeze into tight spots um, and she has the intelligence of about a four-year-old child, uh, which is pretty amazing. So they're excellent problem solvers. We do all sorts of enrichment for her, but they're not pelagic, so they're not going to swim around. They move with purpose. She's actually only about five pounds. Uh, when she's full grown, she'll weigh anywhere between 50 to 100 pounds. So right now she doesn't like the snail, so she's just tossing them away. Like, get out of my space, buddy. Thank you.